Okay. One of the things that you will always see me do when I get on a call with anybody is I'm while you're talking and telling me this story or the situation, I'm going into accounting general ledger. Um, I usually pull up a balance sheet first, okay? I always screenshot a balance sheet so I know what we're looking at. And in through here, I go to the general ledger. I use this general ledger section to um, look up information and filter for things that I'm, I might be looking for. Okay, so I usually will remember to filter by the type of entry. So if it was a journal entry, if it was a beginning balance journal entry, if it was a money out or cash disbursement, meaning a payment to a vendor or client, just a payment out, um, payment in, cash receipts, whether they're from a client or a refund from a vendor. Um, purchases are POs um, and items that are purchased on a project and sales is what happens when you invoice something out, okay? So if I know what I'm looking for, I will filter for that. If I know accounts or dollar amounts, I will filter for that. But you can also um, calculate totals on screen, which is really cool. Um, so for instance, um, if I was looking for, um, I don't know, meals and entertainment, Okay, so in through here, you can see that there's a bunch of different things. So I maybe if I want to just filter for things that happened in 2024, this is telling me that there were two transactions that were meals and entertainment for this year thus far. If I wanted to get a total, it's $40. You see that? Okay. And if I wanted to drill down even further, I would use this little pencil and you can see where it's coded. You can also change things from here. But the only things you can change are the, the date that it affects the general ledger, the check number, the description in through here. You cannot change dollar amounts, but you can change the accounts that they post to. Okay. And I'll show you. Okay. See? If I wanted to change that, you can change it here. Okay. If there are any questions on how I use the general ledger or what I need to use it for, let me know in the comments. Thank you.